Acro Yoga or Acrobatic Yoga was born in India approximately in the year 1100 after Christ in the 11th and 12th centuries. This discipline is developed together and at the same time with the Hatha Yoga method of Garashka, the Tola Yoga and the Malakarma Someshvara Chalukya for six centuries. Later, in the 17th and 18th centuries, the Hatha Yoga has a great development on the part of Giranda, as well as the Malakam on the part of Palavadada the other. From the mutual influence between Hatha Yoga and Tola Yoga with Malakam, born the postures with the streams, and then, in the 18th and 19th centuries, the new acrobatic yoga or acro yoga is born in India as a separate discipline. The famous master Swami Direnda Brahmachari, master of Indira Gandhi and founder of the current National Institute of Yoga of the Government of India, performed and collaborated with this practice as well as the yoga exercise called Vyayama's Yoga. Krishna Macharya developed acro yoga performing demonstrations at the Maharaja Gymnasium of Missouri. Krishna Macharya introduced to the techniques of yoga several techniques of the Malakam, as well as Danish and European gymnastics. His school is deeply characterized by dynamism. Their lineage always participated in several national championships of yoga in India and even preceded the International Federation of Sport Yoga since 1989 until 1994. Here it can be seen a film by Krishnamacharya teaching Acro Yoga. Krishnamacharya did not use only the legs as support as they were the mast of the Malakam, but he taught how to use as support other yoga postures. As it can be seen in the film photographs, he used the diamond, the wheel and other postures. These techniques were later perfected by several masters in India and in America by Dharmachari Maitre Yananda, Yogacharya Fernandez Tevez Griego. In 1936, the school of Krishna Macharya and the school of Swami Suri Kapila began to be training course looking for improvements in the yoga postures. The true Acro Yoga always practiced the Murya Bhyangan and the Kalari Massage. The Thai Massage was never used due to it was schooled with a deeply Indian origin. In 1987, Acro Yoga or Acrobatic Yoga comes to America, more precisely to Uruguay, thanks to Dharmachari Maitri Ananda, Yogacharya Fernando Esteves Griego, patron of the Yoga Federation of India. In this video, realized in the year 1987 in the campus Maldonado, Uruguay, it can be seen the Ballet of Yoga of the Uruguayan Association of Yoga carrying out a performance in front of hundreds of spectators. Later, in 1989, the Yoga Federation of India traveled with its selection to Uruguay to participate in the first world competition of sport yoga with the national selection of that country. Since the year 1989, Acro yoga or acrobatic yoga began to be practices officially in Argentina, including championships. The training began with the application of the rusty technique with supports to then advance to other more sophisticated techniques without supports. The development of artistic yoga in Argentina, a style much more perfected than acro yoga, allowed the acro yoga practitioners of Argentina to be among the best in the world, together with India. Both schools in India, along with the schools of Argentina and Uruguay, have a much more refined technique in terms of yoga than that used by the Acro Yoga School in Los Angeles, California by Jason Nemer, an acrobatic and acro sport gymnast. This school is more related to circles than to yoga. The techniques lack the essence of yoga, becoming its practice acro sport instead of traditional yoga. Currently, acro yoga or acrobatic yoga is practiced all over the world, existing national world championships. Argentina is the country that most professional world championships have won, with India and Uruguay being the countries that have achieved more amateur world championships. Mm -hmm.